for in a certain school 200 people took a mathematics test the score are normally distributed so normally distributed with a mean of this one and standard deviation so it's given the mean is 50 and then standard deviation is equal to 10 marks a in a test people who obtain 70 marks and above are categorized as excellent find the number of people in that category so we wanted to find the number when x is larger than 70 so 70 marks and above so larger than 70 okay so when we wanted to know uh, the number of people so we have to find the probability of them getting the these marks so we have to use that score so z is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation so x is 70 minus mean is 50 divided by standard deviation is equal to 10 so this one is 20 divided by 10 so here we get 2 so this one this one is also equal to z is larger than 2 so this value we can find it from our table which is equal to so z is larger equal to so this one z score we can find the value of 2 so 2 is actually 2.0 or here 2, 0 0.0228 so 0.0228 this one is the probability so we see here find the number of people so number of people we have 200 people right so the probability of getting seven, above 70 is 0 0.0228 so here we get Four point five six. So here the number of people cannot be in points. So this is equal to five. So find the number of people. It is five. We given that sixty percent of people pass the test. Calculate the minimum score to pass. So we see here sixty percent. So P X is larger than K. We don't know what is the value of k. So this one is equal to 0 0.6 because 60% is equal to 60 divided by 100 is 0 0.6. So we see here it is 0 0.6. So if we have this one, you see here this one is larger. So this area is 0 0.5. This area is 0 0.5. We know that it is divided equally where this one is 0. So you see here it is larger than 0 0.5 right so basically when larger so two i mean two area which is right and left and we see here this one is larger so for it to be larger and occupy two space it must be somewhere around here so the value of k is negative so this is the only way that it can be larger than 0 0.5 larger and the and this one is more than 0 0.5 so the k is here so from the table we know that z must be larger than zero right this one is negative k so k must be here this one is symmetrical so we see here if we can find area here then we can know one minus this one we can know what is this one and this area is equal to this area so here probability of so now we are talking about z right so z is larger than negative k you see here larger than negative k is equal to 1 minus probability z is larger than k so this one is equal to probability z is larger than k is equal to so we change place 1 minus probability z is larger than negative k so here we get 1 minus so z larger than negative k is 0 0.6 so here we get 0 0.4 so we just write here so p z is larger than k is equal to 0 0.4 so we can find probability 0 0.4 from the table so here you wanted to find the probability of 0 0.4 it is not a z score it is the probability so we must find from here 0 
0.4 so 0.4 is actually 0.40 so here 0.4 you see this one is okay so here we have 0 0.39 and 0 0.4013 right so we have to find the one which is higher so that we can minus later on for decimal is so here we have 0 0.41 0 0.4013 minus the one that we want is 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.0013 so if you see here this one is four decimal place right so one three the one with one three you see here we have 12 and 15 so we know that 13 is nearer to this one right so here the value is so here it is 0 0.2 and then up here is 5 and this one is 3 so 0 0.253 so this one is 0 0.2 so this one is k is equal to 0 0.253 but we know that the value the initial value the actual value is negative k so k is equal to negative 0 0.253 so this one is the z value so here we have x so we have to change it to z value so we know that z is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation right where our z is negative 0 0.253 negative 0 0.253 is equal to so our x is the one that we wanted to find here right this one the x so x minus our mean is 50 divided by standard deviation is 10 so we bring it to the left so negative 0 0.253 times 10 we get negative 2.53 is equal to x minus 50 so x is equal to so we wanted to find x we bring it to the left so here we get 50 minus 2.53 equal to 47.47 but usually the marks won't be up to two decimal point which is 47